You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have a new face for Greater Brockton. I have Teresa Alphonse from the Brockton Neighborhood Health Center. Welcome. Thank Pleasure you. to have you here. I'm happy to be here. We're neighbors. Yes, the health we center's are. pretty much across the street. For you know, yeah. If you get through the traffic, it was a, a nice, quick walk over here. There you go. And Brockton's becoming more walkable. There's going to be more parking in downtown Brockton. They just broke ground on a new parking garage today nice. behind the old Enterprise building. Mm -hmm. um, and they're trying to green Brockton. But you guys take care of people over at the Neighborhood Health Center. Yes, You're we one do. One-stop shopping. you got uh, health and dental, too. We I'm... have dental. We have vision, uh, pediatrics, OBGYN. Mm -hmm. It's Pretty much everything. And I've been around so long, I remember when it was a tiny little operation on another corner, downtown Brockton, and you guys were busting at the seams, so they started building, and mm -hmm. then they built it, and then it wasn't big enough, and then they built it up again. Mm -hmm. And so it's, now it's, it's still not big enough. I know, <laughs> I know, but it, it, it was one of the pioneer ones. Um, you know, in the past, people had to leave Brockton and go to Boston. Yep. We don't want to do that. We want Brockton people in Brockton. Exactly. We have two good hospitals, and we have... Your great health center, and we're lucky enough as well to have a VA mm -hmm. for the veterans. So Brockton is a happening place. It is. Okay. It is. I love Brockton. Born and raised in Brockton. Went okay. to Brockton High School, Brockton Public Schools. So Me too. Yeah. It's a good place. Mm -hmm. So you are also part of a, a steering group for the Greater Brockton Health Alliance. Yep. Okay. And you guys are putting on a really good program the end of September. Tell us about it. Yes. So September 25th at Bridgewater State College, uh, we are putting on a, an event that is entitled an interactive forum on systemic racism and its impacts on health. So um, we know coming from Brockton, being in the area, living in the area, uh, a large majority of the people in Brockton are people of color. And by virtue of just being born that way, um, People of color are more susceptible to uh, various amounts of diseases. And this is aside from your educational level. This is aside from your socioeconomic status. Mm -hmm. um, so it's very important that people are aware, and this is for all people, not just people of color, that um, there is this something that goes along with being who you are just mm -hmm. from birth. That, um, by um, systemic oppression and racism, um, through schools, through where you live, you are more susceptible to a, a lots of different diseases. And this is a conversation that everybody should be ha having. And I'm happy that the Greater Brockton Health Alliance is bringing this conversation to the forefront and I having it in a place that's very accessible for the residents of well, Brockton. Bridgewater State's a great community partner. Mm -hmm. They help everybody. Fred Clark is a Brockton guy, too. He mm. doesn't live in Brockton now, but he did. Mm -hmm. And he loves Brockton. And, uh, you know, when, when groups partner together to do stuff like that, it's really, really important. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got to look at our calendar and figure out whether we can find a way. I, I don't know if they're covering it at the college or not, but I'm going to find out because that would be good to spread the message later. Yeah. So you have a guest speaker, you have mm -hmm. a keynote speaker. Mm -hmm. um, I looked at it. I I'm good with names, but not always. So why don't you say it? For His me? name is Dr. Kamal Jethwani. Okay. And um, so I actually got a chance to see him um, and hear him speak at a conference down the Cape. So. Uh, me and my fellow colleagues, some senior leadership at Brockton Neighborhood Health Center, uh, we went to um, a, a conference put on by the Mass League of Community Health Centers. Mm -hmm. And he was a presenter and he spoke on specifically how he was able to diversify his, um, his staff mm -hmm. at his uh, location of employment. So he works for um, Partners Healthcare and his title is the Connected Health Innovation Senior Director. And he was able to uh, create a diverse staff and find qualified candidates, which um, I know a lot of organizations kind of struggle with, is how trying to find um, diverse candidates that reflect the community, but then also um, are have the experience and have the background to do the work. So, and this was not just based on race, but he was able to find a diverse population in terms of sexual orientation, mm -hmm. in terms of ethnicity, um, even gender. So he gave a, a, just an amazing um, speech and 
through his speech, I was able to connect with him. And uh, he did lots of exercises and um, his, he just was very convicted so you were and inspired. passionate. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So you want to share it and inspire other people. Exactly. I, I teach speech at Massasoit. That's what I teach. Nice. And my students were out today doing their introductory speeches, so the icebreaker, so they're not afraid to get up because a lot of people are afraid to get up. Mm -hmm. And I have a, a, a young student, I think, I think he's 19 years old, he came here from Egypt, mm -hmm. he wants to be a doctor. Mm -hmm. He's like, don't make fun of me because of my accent. I told them all it's a support therapy group, so we all have to support each other. Yeah. We're cheerleaders for each other. Yeah. Nobody should, you know, not, and people tell us amazing stories. Mm -hmm. I said, if you set your mind to it and mm -hmm. you want to be a doctor, you're going to be a doctor. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. I, I said, but you have to come back. I, anybody that I help or I mentor, mm -hmm. I say, uh, you know, when you get the tickets to the red carpet, just send me one in a swag bag so I can go mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. But doctors, I mean, a lot of the doctors, my, my, my dad passed away last year, but he was 90. Sorry to hear that. And oh, wow. the doctors that he met at the VA, the doctors that were at Good Sam that he dealt with, yeah. um, they were of every race, creed, culture. Mm -hmm. That's the, see, that's the best thing about Brockton. It's a well-kept secret. Mm -hmm. Diversity in this city, mm -hmm. people get along. People like each other. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't, I've never had to deal with a lot of discrimination myself. Now, you wouldn't know this about me. Mm -hmm. I tell them all, you gotta do a, an interesting fact about yourself. Mm -hmm. So what do I pick? You know, sometimes you don't think you're interesting, sometimes you do. My dad was born in Havana, Cuba. Mm -hmm. No one would look at me and think that. Mm -hmm. Because in Cuba, it's, it's like all the colors of the rainbow. Mm -hmm. My mother was born in Boston. My grandfather was born in Cuba. I want to go. Mm -hmm. It was my one dream that I didn't get to do with it's my beautiful. dad is to go there. Yeah. I want to go there before it gets all changed and Americanized yeah. or whatever when in its, its natural form. Mm -hmm. Dad stayed there till he was 12. Mm. Okay, but, yeah. but the medical care in Cuba is amazing. They it have is. one of the highest in terms of medical and literacy. Yep. But we're, let's get back to this. This is a great idea. Mm -hmm. Was it yours? Did you bring it back after you were inspired, or was it the whole team? I, I don't want to take all the credit, but I was definitely a pioneer um, when it came to this. So my prior experience is at the Boston Public Health Commission, and mm -hmm. we actually, well, well, we did, because yeah. now I'm repping BNHC. Yeah. Uh, but at the Boston Public Health Commission, we have a whole office dedicated to racial justice and health equity. And uh, there was also a three-day training that every single employee had to go through to mm -hmm. really understand systemic racism and how that plays a toll into why we're seeing higher rates of hypertension, diabetes, et cetera, in um, more of the, the Latino and black communities as opposed to um, other parts of Boston that were did not fit that demographic description. Mm -hmm. So that has just racial justice and um, social justice and uh, different health out outcomes for different populations has just become a passion of mine. Um, and just with Greater Brockton Health Alliance, um, we sit with a lot of the same people at different tables. And I know um, at a lot of these different tables, we were, we're always talking about cultural competency and race. Um, so I thought it would be great to bring in an expert who really knows and understands and lives and breathes uh, what it is that we're trying to go towards. I could do a whole nother show on this. Yeah, I, I just no, got it's the, awesome. I got the cue. So now that you know we're here and we're down the street, we're okay. bringing you back. Okay. We're gonna talk to you more. If we can find a way to cover that event, we will. Okay. I don't know what's on the calendar, but if we're not, maybe Bridgewater is, or maybe Bridgewater Cable is. I this would be good to have done. So Janet Clark from um, NAACP, yeah. she got someone to cover it. I think okay. he was like an intern here. Okay, well maybe we'll get the, yeah. maybe we'll, we'll share it. Okay. And we'll share it around because now we get video servers and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, and I'll be I, performing too. Even better. What are you going to be performing? A spoken word piece. I love it. Yeah. Did you do that before here in Brockton someplace? Did I see you someplace? Um, I don't know why. You, you look familiar Oh, if you were the at the Senator Warren Town Hall, I yes, gave I a was. speech. I yeah. was. That's where yeah. I met you from. I don't ever forget a face. Yeah. Welcome. Thanks for being on and sharing. Thank okay. you for having me. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.